So it's interesting. A few, a few weeks ago, some of my friends from Winnipeg were saying, hey, did you hear that Jay McCulley passed away? And so Jay McCulley is a guy that was kind of on the periphery of our kind of gang in high school. He went to, I went to Westwood Collegiate in Winnipeg. He went to John Taylor. But everybody knew his name because he was big guy. He was a good-looking guy, and he was super tough. Jeff Hamilton is here from the Winnipeg Free Press. And it's very strange, amazing. I don't even know what the word would be. In reading Jay's story, I uncovered this whole other story underneath it that we'll get into. But first of all, what was your relationship with Jay? And, and this is, by the way, guys, you're not supposed to know who Jay McCulley is. He's just a guy in Winnipeg that I knew grew, growing up. But like I said, it leads to this whole other underworld of things that basically ties into one of the biggest sex scandals in Canadian history and definitely the biggest in hockey history. So having said all that, Jeff, how, how did you know Jay and what was your relationship with him? Yeah, I'll just reiterate what you said, Chris. I mean, he's not famous. He's just he's just a normal guy. He's just a normal St. James guy. As, as you know, I, I you know, just so, so the listeners know, I'm from Westwood as well. So me and Chris mm-hmm. come from the same community. And, and you know, referring to him as a St. James guy is, is like referring him to anyone who's in a small community that's tight knit, that, you know, a majority of the of the people stay in that community, whose parents live in that community, whose grandparents live in that community. So, you know, he's just a normal guy. And, as you mentioned, I mean, Jay turned out to be chapter one of six parts of, of a three year investigation from, my, from myself and the Winnipeg Free Press into Graham James activities. Um, I didn't meet Jay until about a, a year into my investigation. And it was it was actually a gentleman. Um, I'm not sure if you if you recall his name. His name's Peter Anadranistakis. Yeah. Pony Corral, right? Yeah, he was, uh, well, no, no, um, different, like, well, he was a goalie for the team. He, he's a, he's an entrepreneur from, between Phoenix and Winnipeg now, was really into computers. So okay. I know that name, though. I know the name. Yeah, definitely a recognizable name and, and a super popular guy in the community. Anyways, he was talking to me about an experience that he had with one of the teachers at JT named Tom Easton, which we can get into, which is chapter three, essentially, of this, of this series. This Tom Easton guy was abusing players. Anyways, or sorry, uh, students. Um, but anyways, Peter, essentially throughout our relationship, as we continue to talk and develop a bit of a friendship, he introduced me to Jay. And of course, you know, the, the Tom Easton was related to Graham James. He says, look, I know this guy named Jay McCauley. I played hockey with him. You know, he, you might, you'd be interested in him. He's telling me that he's had, had a situation with Graham. So anyways, just to kind of move things along, I met Jay for the first time at Winnipeg's downtown train station in 2019 uh, in the summer. It was in August. I remember thinking to myself, like, holy smokes, you know, this is, you know, obviously a big moment for the investigation. I hadn't, um, I'd talked to victims, but I hadn't talked to any new victims of Graham James. Um, but I also knew I was uh, talking to a guy who was from my community, um, but it also spent a major, uh, most of his adult life in and out of prison you know, had association with gangs, um, had spent, you know, years behind bars and was hardened by substance abuse. So I didn't know what to think walking into this first original meeting. At this point, Jay had, had been, it was on probation. He had been sentenced over two years in Stony Mountain Institution, a federal penitentiary here in Manitoba, and he was out on probation. So he had kind of, during that process, he had, he had, had um, kicked drugs, had spoken to therapists at the prison and disclosed his story. So he had been talking behind closed doors about his 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 um, situation with Graham James for some time. Well, Jeff, before you continue, just give a quick overview to people who don't know who Graham James is and, and what he did. So I, I think a lot of people in the hockey community and the international hockey community, it's certainly a Canadian story, but Graham James is the most disgraced junior hockey coach in in the history of I would say the world. He um, he's he is the guy that sexually abused at this point. I think six players, former players, have come forward. Police estimate much more than that. Some even putting that number over a hundred. And of course, some of his most famous victims are Sheldon Kennedy and Theron Fleury, two guys that made it to the NHL. Um, obviously, Theron Fleury, an Olympic gold medalist for Team Canada, Stanley Cup champion. And, you know, if it wasn't for some of the things that happened later in his life, no doubt would be in the Hockey Hall of Fame right now. 